In today's video, we're going to cover exactly how to make real money with a blog and how I made over a million dollars in less than two years with a new blog that I just started in 2019. So how did I do it? Well, I took the latest strategies that I learned in the startup world and applied them to my personal brand, adamenfroy.com. In short, the process worked. In 2019, I made $200,000. In 2020, my blog made $800K. And in 2021, my blog is going to make $1.4 million. And all of this is without spending any money on advertising. So how did I do it? How did I create one of the fastest growing blogs on the internet? Well, first of all, I ditched the cookie cutter advice. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you the latest tactics on how to make real money with a blog. You know, not just Facebook or Pinterest or AdSense or these low value ideas, but actually the latest and greatest, you know, blog monetization techniques so that you can make money with your blog in the 2020s and beyond. But before we get started, I want to invite you to watch my free masterclass on how to start a profitable blogging business, even if you're brand new or have tried and failed before. So this blogging masterclass gives you exactly how I took adamenfro.com from a blank WordPress install into a seven figure online business. It has my content, my link building, my blog monetization strategies from start to finish. So make sure to watch that free masterclass uh, before the video and let's get into the topic for today. So before we get started into the actual blog monetization strategies, we have to think why a blog? Why would you use a blog to make money online? Well, a blog has a lot of benefits, but when we think about a blog, a blog is a mediator of purchase decisions. That's what it is. A blog lives between a Google search and a purchase. A blog is the mediator that says, here's the product reviews. Here's the information to make your purchase decision. Here's exactly what you need to know. I'm a third party source of information. I'm a blog. Here is the information. Now to make money with a blog, how does that actually work? You know, there's all kinds of different things. There's affiliate marketing, there's ads, there's online courses, there's digital products, sponsorships, CPC deals, all of these different ways to monetize a blog. So how do we start? How do we frame this? How do we even think about this in the first place? Well, first we have to realize that to make money with a blog, a purchase typically has to be made somewhere. For example, I could write an article on how to tie my shoes. You loop it, you loop it back. Maybe there's even a little video on the blog post, but how would that make money? No one's gonna be buying shoelaces or shoes from that. They're just looking for information. That's why you see a lot of food recipe blogs, you know, best chicken soup recipe. It takes them five years to get to the actual recipe because they're making money with ads. So they're putting ads in every spot because if you're searching for a recipe, you're not gonna necessarily buy that blogger's book right away. You're just kind of looking for the recipe and to leave. That's how information searching works. So a lot of the time, somebody might find your blog, click an affiliate link, make a purchase and never come back. And that's totally okay because a blog is a mediator of these purchases. And a blog is one of the best ways to make money online because you can outsource it. You don't have to be on video like every YouTube channel or podcast or Instagram post. You can make progress while you sleep. You can, out, you can hire people to help you. And you know, blogging is not going anywhere. Making money with blogs is, you know, people are making more money now than they ever have before. Google search is only getting more and more higher. So right now is a great time to make money with a blog, but we first have to kind of frame and understand how it actually works. So how does blog monetization actually works? Well, first we have to acquire traffic to our blog. We can't just, you know, make money magically. So first we have to acquire traffic. So we have to think about what we're going to write. We have to create a content strategy of some kind, and we have to choose a niche that we want to write in. So that's the first step. So instead of thinking about all these different monetization strategies, let's first talk about acquiring traffic and how do we acquire that traffic and what we actually write about. First of all, your blog monetization strategy should begin with affiliate marketing as the monetization path. There's a couple of reasons for this. One, it dictates your content strategy and you know kind of controls the articles that you actually start writing. There's a reason that we're not starting with an online course, for example, because we don't have an audience yet. Who are we going to sell it to? This whole thing is a numbers game and growing your blog. So first is growing traffic, which is content. So when we think about content, the good news is to make money blogging, there's really only one to two types of articles that you ever need to write. So let's look at some examples. I just uh, Googled uh, a few things in different niches that I'll show you. So one is best touchless kitchen faucet. Here's a mediator of purchase decisions. I'm searching for the best product. What do I find? I found this very low authority niche site called sinkandfaucet.net. And there they have an article on the 10 best touchless kitchen faucets compared. 
Now this is an affiliate article because as we see, uh, there's a product listing and then these are all affiliate links. So we go to this one, we see it's an, uh, an Amazon affiliate link. We go to this one, it's another Amazon affiliate link. And this one is being monetized via affiliate marketing. So it's acquiring traffic from Google to a product search post and providing the best information. Let's look at another example. Let's say you're an outdoor person and you wanna buy a new barbecue. Well, smokers are a big thing and you know, grills, things like that. So I searched best electric smoker. It's another product driven search. What do I find? Lots of different blogs. Barbecue report is one. Barbecue report is a you know, pretty you know, smaller website and they are ranking for the best electric smokers. And they have an article here, same concept with affiliate links. They even have a little prime symbol to show you that it's um, on Amazon prime and it goes to an Amazon affiliate link. So rather than, you know, having something random like how to tie your shoes or chicken soup recipe with ads as a monetization source, you can make more money with affiliate marketing because you make more money with these commissions than you could on ads. And yes, you see a lot of this content around grilling and around smoking on the site, it's all product reviews. Let's look at one more quick example from my site. I Googled podcast hosting, which is if you have a podcast, and you want to get it to iTunes, you need to store the file somewhere, which is podcast hosting. So this is one that I rank number two for currently. If you go to my article, same exact concept. 15 best podcast hosting sites. And here are my affiliate links. I put one here, I added one into the call to action. And when you click on that, you go to the company and if you decide to purchase, the reader decides to purchase, I would make a commission on that sale. So that is you know, the benefit of affiliate marketing is that you can start your content strategy by searching for these different best of list post keywords. You write these articles as some of your first pieces of content and they can make a lot more money than other sources of revenue. You know, ad revenue is typically 20 to $30 uh, revenue per a thousand impressions. Let's say if you're in an ad network, simply you can just make a lot more money with affiliate marketing because you're ranking for valuable terms and products that people are searching for. And you can make more money with those commissions. Easy way to find them, use a tool like Ahrefs, put in the word best, and then put in your niche, best golf. And then you can use like the matching terms tool here to find other examples of articles, their difficulty score and the volume, best golf shoes, clubs, bags, irons, clubs for beginners, grips, all kinds of different product ideas. Maybe it's, you're looking at, um, you're in the home niche, you wanna see best home security systems, best home gym, you're looking at different products and their difficulties. So you can look for all of these different things. When you think about the biggest blogs that make the most money, it's things like Nerd Wallet, where you search for best credit cards and they're just ranking number one for this article. And every time that somebody, you know, selects a credit card through Nerd Wallet, they're getting a commission on that. So affiliate revenue is a good driver. It's dictated by one, the search volume, how many times people are searching for that product and two, the value of the product. So things that are searched for a lot and are high priced or make high commissions are gonna be the most competitive. Think like web hosting, VPNs, crypto stuff, credit cards, um, things like that. Those you know, are the most competitive. So but, you know, to make money blogging, the first step is driving traffic to these affiliate based keyword articles. So that's kind of you know, the keyword strategy that you start with and you know, the ways that you can monetize your blog effectively. So that's the first one, affiliate revenue. Now that requires content articles, that requires you know, writing content, joining affiliate programs, publishing things and all of that. So that's affiliate marketing in a nutshell. So let's talk about the different revenue streams when it comes to blogging, because there's a lot of them. So we've introduced affiliate marketing. That's the bread and butter of blog monetization. That's how the big sites make the most of their money. So I make over $80,000 a month with affiliate marketing. I'm in over 300 affiliate programs. So I've joined a ton of them. I've seen all kinds of different commissions and companies and conversion rates and uh, all kinds of different things. But that is the driver of affiliate marketing. So if you wanna join a program, let's say you wanna join web hosting or something like that. You search best web hosting and we look for articles um, on this topic. We can see you know, the number one result is monetized with affiliate marketing. They have links here. So we say, all right, they have DreamHost, they have GoDaddy, GreenGeek, SiteGround. Um, okay, that's good. Let's look at another one. They're talking about these different products, Bluehost, HostGator. So then I would just Google Bluehost affiliate program if you wanna join it. 
You just basically write the article on web hosting. Now, I don't recommend this niche because it's super competitive, but you can join it. You'd say the web hosting affiliate program, and then you just join affiliate affiliate programs individually based on the company that you want to promote. So each company has their own affiliate program. They might be in an affiliate network like Impact or CJ or ShareASale where you log in and can find the company and apply there, or they have their own uh, dashboard. Bluehost has their own dashboard, so you would click sign up, you would join the affiliate team, you put in your information. You don't really need a company yet. Um, you can just put your name or something, your PayPal email address so you can get paid, and then you click sign up. And that's really it. And then they'll manually approve you. Then they, you can grab your link, paste it in when you mention the brand. So that's affiliate marketing in a nutshell, which can help control and dictate your initial content strategy. But let's talk about all the ways to make money with a blog. So number one's affiliate. Uh, my blog, adamenfro.com, makes over $80,000 a month with affiliate. I'm in over 300 programs. And it's really the main driver of blog monetization. The big, you know, blogs with hundreds of employees to the small niche sites typically focus on affiliate marketing as the first form of blog monetization. The second one is online courses. So online courses are great because you're selling your own digital product. You're providing and sharing your information with the world and, you know, selling that product directly to your audience. Now, there's a reason we start with affiliate and not online courses, because online courses do require some type of audience in order to sell a course. You can't really sell a course to an email list of zero, but you don't need an email list of 10,000 or 20,000 or 50,000. You can start with a small list, but you still need people to actually purchase your course. And this is an entirely different strategy. So as you see, blog monetization requires completely different strategies. Affiliate marketing is content and SEO, basically. You're trying to rank on Google for you know, product-specific search terms. So that requires the disciplines of SEO, how to format and structure blog posts. I have a lot of content on my YouTube channel about that. How to use AI tools to write. I have content about that. How to do link building. I have videos on that as well. But that's its own unique strategy. Affiliate marketing is that. Online courses is also its own unique strategy. So that includes building up your email list and then selling them a product. That's typically how it works. So when I first started my blog, I was, it took me a long time to build up an email list and I was really good at affiliate marketing, but I didn't know much about selling online courses. So I ended up hiring an expert to help me and guide me through this process. So now I think, you know, I'm a pretty good expert at selling online courses. What I learned is it's a completely different discipline and something you have to learn separately from affiliate marketing. So online courses, you start, I'll kind of give you an example just from my site and walk you through the process for how I did it. We have a lot of different things here. Well, one is if I go to any of my you know, articles and I try to leave the site, that's where my exit intent pop-up comes. And this is the best way to build your email list. You can put a form on your website, sure, to get people to opt into an email list, but exit intent or even entrance pop-ups, these pop-ups acquire the most you know, signups. It's simple because you're showing them the, you know, the form right where they are, right in front of their face. They don't need to find it somewhere. So this has uh, how to start a profitable blogging masterclass, all of the masterclass information that you can access and get here, and then that goes into the course sequence. Now, you can see it here. You, I, I recommend that you go through this process as well just to check it out and view it. It is exactly what you want to see within a blogging course, and I have my blogging content here as well. So all of this stuff that is around blogging and how to start a blog is all very specific to selling the online course. So when you, have, when you think about affiliate marketing revenue, you think about the best of list posts, well, you can write a lot of how-to posts as well for course sales, how to start a blog, how to make money blogging, this very YouTube video on make money blogging. These types of pieces of content that you put out in the world can help sell a course or can help build your audience and build your email list, which I hope this video does. So. It's like an entirely different strategy. Now, what you want to do is also provide a lead magnet to your email list. So you need to give them something to, you know, if they're going to give you your, their email address, you should either give them a free PDF, a checklist, a free, you know, course, something for free to get them to opt in. Very rarely can you just get them to opt in for free. So you want to provide that and then you build your email list and after you build your list, then you want to, you know, start surveying them to understand what they actually want. That's the key. You're providing information to your audience on what they actually desire. So you want to warm them up with lead magnets, free content, send them stuff over time. You can even you know, find your best subscribers by 
providing more exclusive content by having them join, say, a VIP list where it's not just the main email list, but it's the VIP group and sending them content and information. And then after a while, you know, sell and price your online course based on the survey results, based on what you expect, you know, your readers want, based on the size of your email list and the price point that you think they'll go after. And then it's a matter of, okay, I'm going to launch my course. I'm going to send out these emails, send them in like a week sequence. There's a whole strategy behind that. But there's, again, there's a reason that we don't do this first. It's because it takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of effort to shoot an online course. And it doesn't make sense when you don't have an audience yet. So for me, I shot my online course when I was about two years into my blog. Uh, started with affiliate revenue first and then went into online courses after two years. Uh, let's talk about another form of blog monetization, which is ad revenue. So what I consider, you know, ad revenue is almost like the last resort of blog monetization. Like we discussed, uh, if you're a recipe blog, you're mainly going to make money via ads because people aren't going to search or buy anything necessarily from that article. Or there's certain high volume articles like my article on business ideas. That's very high volume search term, but people, you know, when you think about the search intent behind business ideas, it's not as directly product focused as podcast hosting or product based. So, however, blogs need to make money via these articles too. They're a way to acquire a lot of traffic, like ideas type posts or how to posts, and you can add ads to your blog. So what I did here is I have ads. You can see there's one on the bottom, there's one on the side here, there's some throughout the content. But these ads, you know, they make money passively for the blog. And these are good for high traffic articles that you can't really monetize via affiliate marketing that well. You'll notice that I do have affiliate links in this article as well. So you can always overlap different strategies. However, you know, search intent driven purchases are best for affiliate, best of list posts. And then the more broader searches around ideas, you know, kitchen ideas, living room ideas, business ideas, or how to, how to start a business, how to start a blog. A lot of these things get a lot of search volume, but people aren't necessarily ready to buy via an affiliate link yet. These are great to build your email list. These are great for ad revenue. All of these tactics kind of go together and overlap a little bit, but you'll see that there's ads on this um, article. Here's a Peloton ad. Uh, and I have ads on a lot of my articles that aren't the most, you know, affiliate driven ones. So what I recommend there is, you know, I make $12,000 a month with ads, uh, typically each month based on my traffic. And if you can get your traffic to 25,000 visitors a month, that's a good starting point. Then you can start joining ad networks like Ezoic, Ad Thrive, or Mediavine instead of AdSense. I remember when I first started my blog, I joined AdSense and I was making like two to three dollars a day. I simply tried to join too early. I wasn't getting much traffic yet. So again, ads make you money when you are getting a lot of traffic. It doesn't make sense to try, you know, adding ads to your site when you have just a few hundred visitors a month. You're just not going to make the money. When we think about real blog monetization, we want to catch the $100 bills, not the $1 bills. So that's there's a complete, you know, different strategies behind that. So we've covered affiliate marketing. We've covered online courses. We've covered ads. Let's talk about another one. So the one that I'm just learning about is CPC or cost per click or what I like to call sponsored placements. So this is a strategy that big media sites use like PC mag or tech radar or these other big sites that review a lot of content. So when we look at like PCMag.com and we look at some other software, let's go to just like VPN. So if we search VPN, the best VPNs, then they have these companies in these sections. Now, if you're a big enough site, a company like NordVPN will pay for every single click that PCMag gives them. So this is a little bit different than affiliate marketing where with affiliate, somebody has to purchase the product with CPC or cost per click. This is a sales driven approach where a sales team member at PCMag says, NordVPN, we'll add you in that best spot but we're going to charge on a cost per click basis. So it's more, you know, safe revenue for PC mag and you can monetize all these little gaps that you have on your blog. Because even if you have say a hundred articles on your website and you have 10 companies or 10 products in each of those, that could be a thousand products. It's hard to get affiliate links on every single one, but a good way to monetize and fill in the gaps is to sell placements in articles like this and fill in all those gaps. So this is a more advanced strategy. This is something you almost need a sales team member on when you have a larger media company blog, 
like I do, where you start to say, okay, this article is getting traffic, but it's not making much money yet. Can we sell a spot in it to a brand? So that's another strategy that goes down, uh, a little bit further on down the line. So when we think about that strategy, that's like a sales driven approach, selling spots in articles. You could be selling email newsletter spots. You can be selling directly sell banner ads. This is the final form of blog monetization when you're actually a media company, a company like Forbes, you have a media kit, you sell banner ads, you sell email placements, you sell spots in articles, you sell that directly to the uh, companies rather than doing it through ads or affiliate. It's really based on the level of, you know, uh, search intent behind searches that people are doing, you know, broad searches, ideas, that can be ad revenue, that can build your email list. Product searches for, you know, things that are popular in affiliate marketing, that can be your affiliate revenue. Other products that might not be able to be monetized, direct sales, you know, information in your niche on how to do things, course sales, build your email list. All these things work together, but we have to think about it from, a, from the standpoint of a blog monetization timeline. Your blog monetization timeline dictates what monetization strategies to focus on at certain points in your blogging career. Like I said, we don't do ads first, we don't do courses first. So this is the step-by-step -step framework that I would use if you're just starting out as a new blogger and you wanna monetize your blog as quickly as possible. So number one, start with affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing articles around best product posts in your niche controls and dictates your initial content strategy and helps you earn more early on for every click. Second, work on building up your email list with exit intent pop-ups. Exit intent pop-ups are the best way to acquire new subscribers to your email list. Maybe give them a lead magnet in the niche for something that they want to acquire them and start building up that list without directly selling to them yet. Next, I'd say once you hit 25,000 to 50,000 visitors a month, look at joining an ad network. You can join an ad network like AdThrive or Mediavine. There's certain traffic requirements for those, but that's when you can start making some decent money over $1,000 a month when you join an ad network. Number four, now it's time to invest and build an online course. You've started to build up your email list. You've surveyed them. You have a decent sized list. You're getting traffic. You're building up a little bit of expertise in your niche. Now's the perfect time to build and sell that online course. So that's typically about a year or two into your blogging career. Now, finally, after you've started with affiliate marketing, you have ads and affiliate and a course, then you can get into direct sales, hire a sales team member, build cost per click and sponsored article deals into your website, you know, sell newsletter placements, sell directly uh, to companies and build your income that way. Now, Blog monetization is not something super easy because there's different revenue streams and different disciplines for each one of them. But by mastering some of them first and doing it in the right order, you begin to understand how blog monetization works so you can make more money with your blog in the 2020s and beyond. Because this is, you know, the blog monetization timeline. We all work full-time jobs. We all want to try to build side hustles while we work full-time. So we need to do what's most effective to make money blogging in the quickest time frame possible. We need ways to create content. We need ways to make it quicker. We need to make more progress. We need to focus on the right things at the right time. So if you're interested in learning more about the exact step-by-step -step process in order to create content, create a blog, you know, build affiliate revenue, do link building, get a lot of traffic to your website, make sure to watch my masterclass below. It's 100% free, you just can watch it. It's about 90 minutes. There's a lot of aha moments. I'll go over exactly you know, how I do uh, all the processes that I do at adamenfroy.com to build the blog into what it is today. So I hope you join uh, the masterclass. And you know, let me know what you think. Uh, are you struggling to make money with your blog? Are there any monetization strategies that you're finding success in? Uh, please leave a comment below the video and let me know what you think.